if someone had a shit and then didn't wipe their ass, you would say, dude, you need to fucking, you need to clean yourself up. After they cleaned themselves up, you wouldn't praise them for then cleaning themselves up. You would be like, you'd be like, well, I mean, thanks for listening to me, but you should have done that in the first place. To start with, I would like to have a little bit of a chat um, about a dis- uh, like a topic that came up on the Reddit. Uh, and it's in the title. So you kind of know, are we being too harsh on the devs at the moment? Are we giving them undue criticism? And how can we be better? Because that's what life's about, really. You know, self-betterment. There's self-improvement. That's what they call it. <laughs> See, I'm improving myself already. Just improved how I said it. Um, okay, okay. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at like where we're going with this. So this is the post. Um, I'm, I'm trying to hide as much as I can from the person. Uh, because I don't, I, I don't like, I, I don't know. Reddit has like weird rules on stuff, right? Where you know, you know, it's supposed to sway any up or down voting and all that kind of shit. Um, and you know, anyway, anyway, anyway. I, I can't remember what they call it. Um, but here we go. So the 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 title of our discussion here is why so much hate and negativity on this subreddit? Question uh, mark. This feels like an echo chamber. Oh, thank you very much, Zell. I will once we once we finish this discussion, I'll give you a spin, my dude. I'll give you a spin, my dude. Thank you so much, man. How are you doing? Welcome back. Um, so, so, the first thing we need to establish, and I hope you're doing well, Zell. The first thing we need to, to establish is, it, do, our echo, ch- is it, is it bad? Is the echo chamber bad? And I would say generally, yes. I, I think, um, I, I think the fact that there seems to be a lot of, of negativity on the subreddit right now enough for this person to to have you know had the top post of the day um and so a lot of people feeling the same i i, I think that is a problem i the question is is the negativity just is it is it in the right place and is it there for the right reasons or are people just shitting on the game for for no reason at all Right, and that's what we're gonna try and dig into. Obviously, I had my video uh, and on stream yesterday uh, where I was where I was smashing them, um, where I was smashing them on on the tournaments. Um, so, so I, I guess I'm contributing to the hate, but I'd like to think that I did it in a constructive way. I said, I, although I was pretty aggressive about it, I was generally saying. Don't do tournaments, do video advertising, right? Yeah, I, ag- I agree. I agree um, with you, Zell. Um, but we'll get into that in a second. Just just do some video advertising. Spend the money in a smarter way than tournaments. That would be, that's, you know, I've got a criticism and I've got a way that I personally think uh, the money would be better, well, the money would be better spent. So it's important that while I agree with you, Zell, we shouldn't have the safe spaces. We should also make sure that any criticism we have comes with a suggestion. Because otherwise, you're just you're just shitting, right? You're just shitting and you're not using any toilet paper to clean yourself up. We need the toilet paper, guys. You can't shit if you've got no loo. Well, you can, but it gets messy. Make sure you've got ways to clean yourself up. And I think that's the big thing here. Um, so, okay. Anyway, so much negativity. So I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume just based off this, they've seen enough of this 
to think there is a lot of hate and negativity on there. I'm not going to go through this whole subreddit and pick, a, pick it apart. We're just going to take that as an assumption. There's a lot of hate and negativity. Um, and it feels echo chambery. Okay, so he doesn't... They don't want an echo chamber. That That's what I'm getting from this. Uh, their f opening statement is, I think r slash play... They spelt it wrong. S play Crucible should be a safe space... Uh, save safe space for every fan of this game. Now, so I would... I would argue... I would argue if it were to become a safe space... Um, for people that, like, are just loving the game and praising it, um, it would end up being an echo chamber in the opposite way. That would be my, my personal worry. If we were to entertain their idea, you would have exactly the same problem, but in the opposite way, right? It would be everyone like, oh, this, I love this game, I love this game. Like, they're just, they're circle jerking over their love of the game rather than circle jerking over the hate. So I don't think you've really changed anything there. You've just you've just shifted the lens, but the circuit the the echo chamber is is still there. That would be my my problem with it. But instead, all I can read are people being negative about the project. Uh, so what is interesting? Keep in mind that they're calling this a project right now. So I'm reading this potentially as someone that has just newly come to the game since it's gone back into closed beta. Uh, and there's there's another bit sort of further on that kind of suggests that as well. Um, uh, I I think what they'll probably find, uh, and I'll generally start this, is people tend to hate on a game a lot. If yeah, I know that's a nice upvote rating. Um, they tend to hate on a game if they if they like it and want it to be better. The hate isn't from let's just shit on this. It's from, I really want this to be better than it is. Please, please listen to me. And that's why I think it's important that we pair all criticism with an idea of the direction that we would like to take it. So let's, let's, let's go, let's go forward. The strange thing is that people were hating the game so much for not having voice chat. Um, I think I, I think this is a misdiagnosis. I think the game they were hating the fact that the game didn't have any communication. That was the hate, and the suggestion was to bring in voice chat. So this is this is maybe I'm maybe I'm favorably scoping the criticizers argument here, but I believe that they have said they hate that they there isn't any there isn't any communication. But they've also given a helpful criticism by saying you could change, you could fix this by adding a voice chat. So I, I think that's fine. Um, but now when voice chat is in the game, they don't say, nice, these devs listen to the community and build the game that we want for us. They keep telling everyone there's so much bad stuff in the game. Um, yeah, I think there are times where people are needlessly negative about something, but I think uh, this time it's justified. Yeah, I, I, I think it's, I, I, I think if, if it was no, no voice chat, uh, but I, I, I think the, 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 the anger is no communication in a competitive game. Reverse, reverse. I'm going to have to, I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to have to have my controller the wrong way around. I'll play a match. I'll play a match with my keyboard the wrong way around. Hit the dab. Um, okay. So, uh, how are you doing, Amber? Um, oh, fuck's sake. Lost to check as well. Right. Um, can you build the game uh, they, they want for us? I, I think, look these news ways to control me. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I sort of saw suggestions and I went with it. Um, okay. Okay. Where are we up to? But now uh, when the voice chat is in the game, they don't say nice. These devs listen to the community. Uh, I, I, I actually argue um, uh, a lot of the hate comes from Paladin slash Smite fans who just want the game to be a direct one-to-one -one copy. It's potential, potential. I was saying uh, earlier, Gemini, uh, I, I think um, 
every criticism should be paired with a way to uh, that you believe that the game should should move to improve. Um, it shouldn't just be shitting down the neck. I, I basically I don't necessarily agree with this guy, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna keep picking it apart. Keep, keep picking it apart. But now, when the voice chat is in the game, they don't say, I disagree with this. I actually think I did see people, like, hyped that voice chat was in. People were like, fuck, yeah. The devs have done it. Good fucking shit. So, I disagree with this. I can't find examples, and I'm not going to search through the subreddit right now. But, I disagree with this. Um... I disagree with this. I I, I think I think they did praise the, the devs when it came out. Um... They keep telling everyone that there's so much uh, bad stuff in the game. Again, I think it's just them pointing out things that they would like to see it be better. That's 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 what I stand on anyway. Um, people shouldn't instantly suck the dev's toes just because they add something. Yeah, it, you know, the thing is, people people were making the suggestion to bring, bring the game on par with competitive games. So... While it's good that they listen to us and they should be praised for listening to the community, they shouldn't necessarily be praised for doing something that should have been uh, a given, right? You know, it's like, it's like going back to my shitting and not using the toilet roll. Um, if someone had a shit and then didn't wipe their ass, you would say... Dude, you need to fucking... You need to clean yourself up. After they cleaned themselves up, you wouldn't praise them for then cleaning themselves up. You would be like... You'd be like, well, I mean, thanks for listening to me, but you should have done that in the first place. Right? Um... You were if they were a baby? Yeah, but th that's stiff. They're not a baby. They're, a, they're an adult. They're a grown adult. The devs are grown adults. They're not babies. Okay. Also, annoying, uh, annoying, also an annoying Lee, uh, also annoying, oh, so, also annoying are the, comma, are the post, no, I don't know. Also, comma, annoying, now, fuck, I don't even know. I can't do grammar. I don't even fucking know. Ignore me. Also annoying are the posts, uh, the, are these posts about low player numbers in a closed beta. Right. So I just papagged my way through that. Low player numbers are the uh, are the reason we have regressed back into closed beta. I I, I think anyway. I mean, alongside other stuff, but 100 average before the beta, and now it's closed. I I I mean. Sure, they're not. I, I think. I think maybe there's a there's a there's there's one thing to take away from this. There, there is one thing to take away from this. I think it is completely redundant, completely redundant to have a post every day saying forty players, Omega lol, twenty players, Omega lol, ten players, Omega. I don't think that achieves anything, right? So I think there is there is there is uh, an okay criticism within that. But, um, but realistically, we're in this position, we're in this position of being in closed beta, um, because the game was failing. Is this the Guild Wars 2 subreddit? I, I, I guess so. I guess so. The same players, I guess. I mean, I'm a Guild Wars 2 player. I was a Guild Wars 2 player and now a Crucible player. So there we go. I think Jebro was a big Guild Wars 2 streamer as well. And now playing Crucible. So there you go. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Of course, player numbers will not get higher while they're at while they're in that stage of development. I guess like they uh, technically they've got a point. That technically they've got a point, but the game was released, so I think it, it's it's a weird closed beta um, for it to to have gone from be closed beta to release to closed beta again is weird. I think that's a weird thing. So I, I, but officially the state that that statement is true. It's not going to really grow at this point. So just constantly shitting on the numbers aren't going to achieve anything. Why do people not understand that? So so that's redundant. So I think I think essentially just my sort of wrap up here. I I I think 
I think, a safe space for the fans of the game? No. That is, that is, that is not, that is, that is not how games evolve and get better. I do think the game has some issues and should have had a beta tag to start with, but it gets way more hate than it deserves. Probably true. Probably true. And I think, I think, um, I think it seems, from my, from my perspective, I think it seems more negative because now you've only got people that really, really love the game. And they, like I was saying earlier, they really, really love the game and they want it to be better. I think the negativity comes from a place of frustration of like, this could be so good. I really want this to be really good. And I, I think that's probably why in the heat of writing these posts, it gets shat on a lot. Now, I, I think they've got a roadmap and it, it'll be interesting to see how they proceed forward. Um, but I, I, don't, I, I ultimately don't think that it should be a safe space. I disagree with this. I think, it, but it also shouldn't just be a shit on the devs echo chamber. I think you want a happy balance. You need some people defending it, some people uh, attacking it. Um, and I think you'll get that. It, the problem is the posts are negative and then the defense is in the comments. So I think a lot of the negative posts make it look negative and people don't read into the to the comments afterwards. Uh, there needs to be a place for vulnerable insight uh, and uh, valuable insight and discussion. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. And that, I, think, I think the devs will appreciate being constructively told um, how to how to how the community believes we should proceed rather than us just saying hey you've got the greatest game in the world we've got no idea why it flopped yeah so sometimes sometimes you just get a hate trait and, and I, I i do agree uh with what they're saying here posts about low player numbers is literally doing nothing posts about low player numbers is literally doing nothing to benefit the game so i i agree with them on that sort of sake Hate for the sake of hate is pointless. Hate, uh, hate for the sake of like, or criticism for the sake of, of, um, advising them to do a little bit better. True. 20 minutes. Yeah. There, there we go. There we go. Uh, sorry. Uh, but that's the other thing. If you're in the minority, uh, you got to start things, uh, the maybe get more hate than it deserves yeah true true it's true i agree i think to i think to have i think to have decent insight on this game you could probably you could probably understand you could probably have a basic grip of this game after somewhere between uh five to ten hours especially now with a one one game mode in there I, I would say I would say I would I would fully respect but also but also we have to look at why did they leave after 10 uh, or to 20 minutes what turned them off instantly and and work to to fix that anyway I've I've spoken for way too long on this um I just wanted to give my sort of thoughts um and mainly I'm just milking you guys for a YouTube video so uh because I don't like recording my YouTube videos outside. Um, anyway, let's get in. Let's get in.